The Philippine Navy conducted a live fire test of its new Spike NLOS short-range anti-ship missile on April 10 last year as part of a contract to supply weapon systems for the Acero class of fast attack interdiction crafts FAIC, by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. The Spike NLOS missile has an effective range of 30 kilometers, which is longer than the Spike Er missile aboard the MPACMK attack aircraft. 3 which is also operated by the Philippine Navy's Littoral Combat Force. This project is part of the fast attack interdiction craft with missiles Lot 2 combat systems and missiles of the Philippine Navy, which is the second list of Horizon 2 phase projects of the revised AFP modernization program. To replace aging assets of the Littoral Combat Force LCF, with assets that can protect restricted sea lanes of communications SLOC, within the Philippine archipelago, the Philippine Navy has embarked on the acquisition of Fast Attack Interdiction Crafts FAIC, which are fast-moving, light and small, and are armed with surface-to-surface -surface missiles with up to 25km range. The project, now known as the Fast Attack Interdiction Craft, Missile Capable, FAICM, Acquisition Project, is a special project that was not included in the Horizon 2 Phase Priority Projects, but was approved for implementation after an urgent requirement. They are said to be replaced the Tomas Batalo class PKM Fast Attack Crafts, some of which were already retired and the rest on track for retirement in a couple of years. Also discussed will be the weapon systems installed on these boats which would be acquired from a different company but would be installed once the boats are delivered. The Philippine Navy has already selected the supplier, which would be Rafael Advanced Systems Limited, Rafael, which will supply systems mostly already familiar with the PN. Among them are Rafael's Mini Typhoon 12.7mm Navalized Remote Controlled Weapon Stations, RCWS, the Typhoon 30mm Navalized Machine Gun System, and the Typhoon MLS NLOS capable of firing up to 8, 8, rounds of Spike NLOS surface-to-surface -surface missile. Each of the 8 fake MIS will be armed with 1, 1, Typhoon 30mm MGS and 2, 2, Mini Typhoon 12.7mm RCWS. But only 4, 4, will be equipped with the Typhoon MLS NLOS although the 4 other boats will be fitted for but not with FFBNW, with the missile system. What was not mentioned on reports is that the purchase of Shaldig MK. V from Israel shipyards included a technology transfer or license build clause wherein the Philippine Navy shall be allowed by Israel shipyards to license build the Shaldig MK. V on its own, or share the design to the PN. To further support this, the requirement also calls for the construction of four, four, of the eight fast attack and interdiction crafts in the Philippines. Yes, local production 50% of the boats. But take note, this only involves the platforms, boats itself, not the weapon systems which would still be imported from Rafael in Israel. But in early 2021, it appears that changes have been made. Instead of locally constructing four units, it was again changed to just two units. This is possibly because Israel shipyards agreed to deliver one extra boat as part of the contract. And to make this happen, Israel shipyards will also help the Philippine Navy to rehabilitate the Cavite Naval Yard, CNY, which will be the one to build the two locally made fake MIS. The Philippine Navy's Cavite Naval Yard may not be huge enough to build larger ships, but it would start from at least being able to build smaller patrol boats or fast attack crafts like the Shaldig MK. V. This would be beneficial to the PN in the long run to support the Self-Reliance Defense Posture, SRDP, program that the entire armed forces of the Philippines is trying to have, but also allow the Philippine Navy to assist other government agencies. The fourth and final MICA payment for the project was secured with the DBM's release of a new last the 28th of July 2023, with Saro BMBD 23002-0316 worth PHP 4740884684.04. This means that Israel shipyards and Rafael Advanced Systems would be approaching the final phase of their delivery schedules, which includes Israel shipyards transferring the technology to locally build the Shaldig MK. V fast attack crafts by the Philippine Navy to happen soon. It is surprising though that the project is expected to complete in 2024 yet the government is already paying 100% of the project's cost within 2023.